This video answers one question, how do you make updates once you have a site live? So, so far, I'm just gonna show you how to do it. So far, we have sites, sites. We have files here, we drag them up here, we can see the file. That's the drill, that's like the flow that you're gonna go through whenever you're making updates. Now, if you wanted to update this, I would first do it locally. So I would take my folder here and drag it into Sublime. I don't have Sublime open, so I will just open that quickly. Drag that in here. I will make updates. So if I wanted to call this Bowie face, and I believe I have a different unicorn in there, David Bowie unicorn. Yeah, I know. <laughs> God bless the person that designed this for me. Um, I can change that here, and you'll see that I'll test it locally just by double clicking and looking at it and going, that looks pretty good. Okay, so locally, you can see it's local because it says file users castig that, that's on my computer, right? You'll have a similar experience. Locally, looking good. I'm ready to commit that. I'm ready to put that live. So I'm going to, I'm just gonna move this. I could close it if I want, but I'm gonna move that. I'm gonna just take the files again and drag them here. So just watch along or follow. You can see that I just took everything and dragged it. And what it's gonna wanna know is it's gonna say, overwrite, it's gonna be like, should I overwrite what's already there? Now, if if that's cool, like with you, do it. If you think you're making a mistake for some reason because you don't wanna overwrite or you have an older copy, you might wanna think that through, but I know what I'm doing. I made the update, it sounds great. Continue is all you have to do. And it's gonna update everything again. It doesn't look like anything changed here, but when I come to to my domain and I just kind of press return. You'll see that now live, I have the update. I have the updated Bowie face and the updated unicorn Bowie face. So that's great. Um, so a small little caveat here. Um, there's a few things that we could learn here. Um, you'll notice that when I uploaded this, I grabbed everything. Now it's fine if you want to do that, but it doesn't make sense really. Like there's a better way to do it, which would be like, I would just usually grab the one file that I made the change to, because otherwise you're taking time and bandwidth to upload all the images again. And now the images didn't change, you know, unless they did, unless you added a new image. Then I would probably just take, you know, let's say I added this image here. Then I would probably just take this image and drag it. I would double click into here and I would drag it here. See how I did that? Um, I find, so just a few tips. I find that when I'm dragging stuff to you, like, it's messy doing it this way, just for me really, or for students that I've taught in person as well. Um, because sometimes you'll miss the folder, you'll like think you hit it and it'll go in the wrong place and you'll have errors. So I like to just double click into it and there's no way I can miss that I'm exactly in that directory. It takes an extra second, but it keeps things really clean. Um, so those are just some tips, because you know you imagine that they, there might be 20 or 30 images here and if every time you update some text, you have to upload all those images, that's gonna just take a lot of bandwidth and a lot of time. So those are some tips. Um, that's the basics of doing this. And I'll just leave you with like a thought bubble thing, just like idea. Um, just, just take this for what it's worth. Um, you could see how at large scales, this could get messy. Now, we're fine, this is fine. At some point, this is where the idea of Git and GitHub come, if you've never heard of those before, um, because what you would do with those is basically with every upload, you make a snapshot or like a, a moment in time so that if I overwrote the wrong thing, Git will allow me to go through previous versions and go, ah, I kind of fucked that one up, so I'm gonna fix it. That's what that is. I'm not gonna show you what that is right now, but I'm just showing you, sometimes you have to have the pain point to go, oh, I kind of get that now. I kind of get, you know, otherwise it's really hard. So you're getting really close to learning, uh, you're like bridging out your knowledge into like new concentric circles. And I'm really excited to show you this and uh, make some updates, get your stuff live, um, share Bowie face uh, with anyone you want. Uh, a friend of mine drew this for me and it's uh, amazing. So.